Hi, Kipsters. It's me and Cairo today for our read aloud. I decided to read The Kissing Hand, and the reason I chose to put Cairo in the video and read with us today is because the story is about a mommy raccoon and her son. So we have baby Cairo with us. The Kissing Hand. Are you ready, Cairo? Oh. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please may I stay home with you? Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzle him in the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently. Even if they seem strange and scary at first, but you will love school once you start. Hmm, have any of my kisters have ever been scared to go to school? This was your first year as kindergartners. Were you scared to come to school? You didn't know what to expect? Yeah, I think some of my friends were a little scared. You'll make new friends and play with new toys, read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. Ooh. The kissing hand, asked Chester. What's that? I'll show you, Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's hand, spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss brush his hand up his arm and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with the special warmth. How would the kissing hand help Chester, do you think? Hmm. Ooh, you might be right. It might help him get to school. Hmm. Let's find out. You're right. I do see the hearts. Ooh, so something about love. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, mommy loves you, mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty, warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now, he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he called her. Hmm, now why do we think that Chester wants his mommy's hand? That's a good idea. What else? 
Why else do we think he wants his mommy's hand? Oh. Let's find out. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now, you have a kissing hand, too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and into school. And as the hoot owl rang in a new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. The end. Oh. Friends, this story is very important to me because this week, or not this week, but just recently, I took Cairo to daycare and I needed a kissing hand because I was so nervous. So sometimes we have to remember that it's okay to try new things. It is okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the story with me and Cairo. As you guys see that he was very active. And I will see you guys again. Bye. Say bye, Cairo.